Silcom from Fowler Silvac is a powerful tool for displaying and recording results from our wired and wireless BT enabled tools. To begin configuration, log in as the supervisor. The default password is 123. We'll start by configuring the instruments. These are the raw inputs which the program uses to build channels and then display pages. We'll start by configuring the instruments, which are the individual tools which form the raw information for building out channels and pages. They will be connecting a Bluetooth tool. First, we'll, we'll connect a Bluetooth receiver dongle, which shows up as so if the drivers are installed and recognized properly. Next, we'll want to connect our tool. If the instrument has previously been connected to a software, we'll first want to clear out any existing settings. We do that by pressing and holding the mode button and then using quick presses of the mode button to cycle through to BT. We'll select reset. We also may have to turn it on if the Bluetooth symbol doesn't start flashing. Same process, cycle through to BT and select on. Now we're blinking and we can select scan on the software. And our instrument is connected. Now here it's asking us to enter a name for the tool. We'll just set this to indicator. From the instruments view, we show a list of everything connected. Right now it's just the one gauge. We see the gauge title, which we can edit, the MAC address, model number, firmware version, connection type, current value, units, and last calibration date. We can also send commands to the gauge from here to check the battery level or pull for data. Once an instrument is connected, a channel is automatically created. So now that we have an active connective instrument, we can go to Pages, add a channel to page one. Notice this is not configured yet. So we can go to Channels, hit the ellipsis on the far left side, and this allows us to change the channel name, change the display type, uh, any of the read modes, tolerance information, but most importantly, our formula, which in this case is just A+. Plus. We can make this a conglomeration of multiple inputs. We'll just leave it as is and select our one connected input, which is indicator. Hit the check mark in the bottom right to close and go back to pages. Now we see some info here. So we can change the readout type. Let's set this to live export, F9 pedal, store, multi. These site expansions are not available from the regular user profile. And here we can, we can also change some of the display modes. We'll put this in blind mode so we can export some of the received data. And we'll just go ahead and store a couple of readings. Now if we go over to export, we'll highlight channel, and we see some of the readings we've stored already. Now there are check marks at the top to select which of these features will actually be exported and we can export to a file. In this case we have a text file on the desktop where these readings are saved. Another powerful tool included in this program is the work menu, which if we select our active tool, we can on menus and select what's actually displayed on the face of the dial. So 
So this will change the internal configuration of the tool connected to the software. We'll read the current settings from the instrument. Uncheck items you don't want displayed in the menu. Set tolerances from this interface and then write them back to the gauge. Thank you.